In this video, I show how to write a switch statement in JavaScript. How a switch works is that it compares an expression or a variable against a set of statements and if they are true, it runs specified code blocks. For example, I have the color variable here and I've assigned it the value red. Then it goes to the switch statement and over here it compares the color variable, which is this right and then each case says that if the value of the color is for example here red then it runs the code from here and then over here it breaks out if it's blue then it runs this statement and breaks out of the switch statement the reason I have a break here is because if you don't put a break here then it will run this value if only the case statement is red then it'll continue on to running the blues value as well and if I didn't have the break here it will also run this now I'll show you the example over here you can see that it displays color red as seen here and now if I omit this break statement and save it and now you can see that it also prints out the blue and let's delete this as well save and now you can see that it also prints out the question mark and the color so that's the reason you usually put breaks however there are some cases in which you may not wish to put breaks like if you want also want to allow for the possibility of having case red with uppercase then this will first go over here if this variable is spelled with uppercase r and then since i don't have a break here it'll continue on to this case and print out this color red now to test it out let's save it and refresh our window as you can see it prints out color red also you usually put the default value at the bottom and you can omit the break in the final statement of a switch and that's pretty much it for the switch statement and how to write it. If you have any question, please comment. And if you like this video, please subscribe. Thank you.